welcome back. Today we are in Orlando, Florida. The plan is to go interview my friend uh, Kylie Strom, who uh, I went to high school with. She is a professional soccer player. She played in Spain and Prague, and she's now here playing for the Orlando Pride. We're gonna go uh, chat with Kylie and try to find inspiration for a song. So let's go do it. I'm Kylie Strum. I play professional soccer for the Orlando Pride. And how do we know each other? We go way back <laughs> to good old Union Endicott High School. I think it's not a stretch to say we were not friends. Yeah, I mean, I didn't want to say it, but... <laughs> we were friendly. Yeah, we were definitely friendly. What did you know about me back then? Oh, I mean, you were always destined for greatness. <laughs> okay, come on. So as much as we go way back, and that's absolutely true, and I understand your upbringing so deeply, that's where it ends. Yeah, that's, yeah. So, take me through it. Yeah, it was fun. Played high school, went to college at Boston University. Had a decent college career, I would say. Was the goal to play professionally? Yeah, okay, definitely. Okay, so you were already like, but how does that usually happen? So, the typical path yeah. is, so you go to college, and then maybe like 40 players or so mm -hmm. um, get drafted out of like probably 400 who, wow. yeah. So I wasn't one of those fortunate 40 people. Okay. So, and then I went over to Germany to try my chances over there because it wasn't working out in the US. You just went. I just, it was so bad. I ended up getting deported actually. What? <laughs> yeah, like it, not purposely. What do you mean not purposely? I know not purposely. I, I was trusted this man who was helping me get my visa and he's like, okay, all you need to do is you need to get your visa before you go back to America. Okay. I'm like, okay, cool. So me and there was two boys from the men's team go to get our visa. I didn't understand what she was saying, but you could tell she was not happy. This uh, reminds me of when I got my Russian visa. Oh, <laughs> Russian visa. <laughs> they, um, What'd you need that for? Uh, I was performing in Russia. And so, yeah, they, they um, if you don't have exactly what you're supposed to have, they, they don't really help you out. But you got the visa eventually. I did. And didn't uh, get deported? I didn't. Okay. You have a different story, it sounds like. <laughs> so, technically, without a visa, you can only stay for three months. Right. So they were like, you know what, you need to leave immediately. Which is, like, not terrible. But anyways, I had a trip planned with my friend. <laughs> Once I left the country, I wasn't allowed back in for six months. Right. But I needed to get my stuff. Uh-huh. So I snuck back in on the train, and then when I went to leave again from Germany, obviously, I was, like, red flagged, and they were like, you weren't, you weren't supposed to be here. I had like a big stamp in my passport. But luckily, the team I was playing for, I was playing for the second team. The first team uh, won Champions League that year. So the guy, the officer I was dealing with was like a big fan. No way. And he was like, oh wow, like, you know, congratulations, but you know, this is really bad. Like, you can't do this again. And I was like, I'm so sorry, I'll never do it again. And he just like, let me, just let me leave without what? any repercussions. <laughs> yeah. You broke the rules by stay overstaying. Yes. That was the issue. Yeah. And then you were just going to pick up your stuff. I think you're you're fine. Right? Morally, in my book, you're yeah. fine. Okay. So then I tried my luck again in Boston with the first team and actually made the team. So that was cool. exciting. Temporarily. Because uh -huh. <laughs> uh -huh. then, like halfway through the season, I got cut. So that was kind of depressing. But also, honestly, the best thing that's ever happened to me. I don't know if you have any moments like that in your musical career where like failure kind of... I have said many times that I am the most successful musician who's never won a gig. Oh, okay. Because I've auditioned many, many times for different things and then I don't get it and it always has like taken me to a cool place. Right. No, I, I truly believe that everything happens for a reason. Hello. Hello. Because <laughs> yeah, in the moment it was like the worst moment of my life. Yeah. But then it like actually brought me back to Europe. This time I had an agent and I had the best time in Prague. I don't well, know if you've ever been. I haven't. I would recommend because it is like beautiful. How long were you there? I was there for two years and then my bags were packed to go back. My agent called me one day. He was like, Kylie, you're never going to believe this. Like Atletico Madrid want you. That was like a very respected league. I never dreamt of that. You know, mm -hmm. I was kind of like play, have some fun. But then yeah. that was like, you know, the big leagues. Yeah. So, worked out well. Wow. It's good to be back. Yeah. Home in America. Yeah. Do you prefer it? It's different. Yeah. Like, I miss traveling and stuff. I love traveling. And over in Europe, it's very easy. Right. But it's, it's nice to be home 
I don't know how much longer I have, so like to play in front of my parents and stuff. I haven't explained this to you yet. Okay. I have a few ideas, but you are not a musician. I'm not going to ask you to do anything. Yeah, please don't. Musically. Nobody wants to hear that. <laughs> are you good whistler? No, okay. I can't. I literally can't do anything. I'm so, I can like clap. There you go. Okay. Okay. That'll go in. So one idea that I'm kind of interested in is picking one day in your life. Okay. So it's like the most pivotal day or oh. something like that. It's hard because I feel like the, the pivotal day was like the really sad day of like me getting cut, you know? Do you not want a song about it? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if it's depressing or not. But yeah, it was just really like, well now what do we, you know? Yeah. Like you question a lot. Sure. Um, but yeah, luckily I had an agent and... So what was the conversation with your agent like? I was like... Just get me to any team. Yeah, get me I will on the field. play anywhere. Like I've like known players who've played in like Serbia and like Kazakhstan. Yeah. And like I was honestly like ready to kind of do that. Sure. But I got lucky that it was in Prague, which was like mm -hmm. a a good team and a decent league, like and a nice place to live. It's hard because a lot of it is in like the agent's hands. You know, right. like you you're trying to like you know, prepare your resume, get filmed together and all of that. Mm -hmm. You give that to your agent and it's just, yeah, this weird limbo period because wow. you're trying to like relax and trust the process and stuff. But right. there are those like doubts in your mind. Of course. What if it doesn't work out? Mm -hmm. Like, then what am I going to do? Yeah. Most people, it doesn't work out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> so the trajectory that I took was kind of perfect, like went to Prague and then was able to kind of like build my confidence and like get better, obviously. Yeah. like get experience and then went to Atletico and yeah now here so it kind of you know took a nice little upward yeah a little bunny hop and yeah, then up. yeah yeah exactly wow pretty crazy well thanks for stopping by no thank you <laughs> this was so fun this was fun okay there we go boom by the way if you want to check out the full interview uh click the link in the description it's on uh, my podcast in audio form as well as the full video interview if you want to see that time to record we're in the studio. So I have this story kind of written out from Kylie of like, she just got cut. We know the end of the story. We know where it's going, but she doesn't in the moment, right? And she's just kind of waiting. None of that screams like pump up jam. We're gonna get it, let's go. Um, and so my college roommate is a songwriter and a really great one at that. So I'm gonna call him and see if he can help me out. Uh, Corey, hi. Hi, hello. Here's the deal. I'm writing the song. And I need it to be a pump up jam, and I need some help finding the angle for like the hook. Are there any songs that like remind you of what you're trying to go for or something? Well, she gave me a couple. She gave me Can't Stop by Red Hot Chili Peppers. Classic. Right. And then uh, Mount Everest by Labyrinth. So Can't Stop, Won't Stop. I don't know. You could write like almost like you're, you're challenging that day, you know, like. The idea of being cut from the team, like using that first verse to kind of get to that point where you come to the conclusion that, you know, you're going to use this as the, you know, the fuel to don't get in my way. Right. Mm. Okay. Don't get in my way. Yeah. 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 Something like that. Okay. Okay. I'll put that in the maybe column. Yeah, and again, I'm, I'm feeling trombones for this one. Okay, you know what? Just for you, I'll put trombones in. Okay. Cool. Thank you. Hey, my pleasure. I'm going to use some guitar sounds, some distortion sounds from Red Hot Chili Peppers, as well as the kind of mode that that's in. So that's... <laughs> Uh, I also want to do a horn break because I play horns and you can't stop me. So here we go. That's going to be cool. So I have this chord progression, which totally works. It's a calm before the storm, but you best believe it's coming. It's a calm before the storm. This is your final warning. It works, it totally works, but there's this line I hear in my head during the chorus, which is, It's a calm before the storm, but you best believe it's calm.
to come before the storm But you best believe it's coming It's to come before the storm This is your last chance, so get running It's to come before the storm This is your last chance, so get running <laughs> Okay, so I might have to pitch correct it a little bit at the end, but listen Last chance, so get running Or maybe I just cut off that, that little ending uh, so it ends a little sooner, but I think it sounds, I think it sounds rock and roll. You know what they say, bad vocal technique, rock and roll. I'm a cornered honey badger and I'm dangerous and you don't wanna be the one in my way. Just cornered honey badger and I'm dangerous and you don't wanna be the one in my way. Vocals, drums, guitars, bass, all done. Uh, now it's up to the horns. Let me get some lights in here because it is getting dark. So here's what we got at the top. So we can go, uh... Second pre-course, we're just gonna fill every gap. So, uh, even right at the top, we could do one, right? Trumpet done. Trombone, and we are out of here. Maybe a little shorter. I'm done. It's like a studio in here. Like. I know. Okay. Are you ready? I'm so ready. <laughs>
That is amazing. So the reason that was difficult is because I knew I wanted to write a pump up song that's like, we're number one, we're the best, yeah. we're the best. But I'm like, you're the most humble person I've ever been met. <laughs> so it doesn't make sense to be like, everyone else sucks. Yeah, no, this is me. <laughs> Good. Yeah. I'm a cornered honey badger and, and I'm, I'm dangerous. dangerous. <laughs> I love it. That's going to be like my mantra. Like, Good. I feel like I'm going to wake up in the morning and look in the mirror and just say, I'm a cornered honey badger and I'm dangerous. <laughs> and you don't want to be the one in my way. <laughs> That's right. You better watch out. <laughs> you sent me a few songs and those are so outside of like what I usually do. Okay. I'm like, oh, I love these songs, but I can't mm -hmm. like break it down and analyze why I like them or what I like about them. The Chili Peppers one, like, it's like the melody is very similar to yeah. those kinds of scales that they use in that and everything which again is totally different than anything i would have written yeah. so cool yeah well, awesome. there you go thank you, you that come was... before the storm yeah love that <laughs> love that top of the playlist yay we did it awesome cool so there you have it collab across america this is what it's all about we're making music uh meeting people i'm so happy with how this turned out uh, and I'm so excited to do more. So make sure you're following along uh, at Classical Trombone on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, all the good stuff there. Uh, if you want to help out and uh, help fund this project and keep it going for longer, go to patreon.com slash classical trombone. You can get downloads of all this audio. Um, you can get everything you want there uh, before everybody else gets it and get sneak peeks behind the scenes and extended videos. So we're doing all that. I'm super excited. Uh, we'll see you real soon. You'll find me wherever you find me. Peace.